so in case you want to rock, um, moderate Democrats uh, selected Kamala Harris to be the vice president. Did we call that? We we didn't. We called that last week, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. The whole energy of this show just changed, yo. That shit is funny. Yeah. <laughs> you know what pisses me off, bro? It's kind of like I knew it was coming. Mm-hmm. Like damn, Joe. Listen, man. I mean, see, you know, he, see, yeah, he had to do it, especially when he did the "You ain't black." Yeah, when he dropped that shit, you know. He just hey, look, man. I I got one goal. I'm gonna be honest. Joe could have picked the fucking gazelle. I was gonna. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's 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 just came to that personally. I mean, I'm gonna celebrate the history she's making, you know, and and for all my black women that want us to do that, I'm gonna celebrate the history. But and like I like I told my inner circle, it's not my candidate. You know, more power to her, more power to what she does. I hope she gets in there, and and I don't have any high That's expectations. What? What is it? Not <laughs> not my candidate. But you know, I'm not gonna sit here and and. Um, and sour her name what, because what? the facts are the facts. And yeah. at this point, you can either vote independent, which I'm strongly considering, even though they say it's a vote for Trump. I don't care. Oh, I don't right, care. Dude. <laughs> Listen, we whatever's happening now, we're not happy. Get yeah. the shit together, regroup for 2024, and let's have a go with that. Because right now, well, what if Trump decides to stay in 2024? We we wasn't happy in 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean. What if what if he just decides I'm just going to stay in 2024, and I need to like what you call him? Like, I don't uh, think that, bro. Uh, bro, uh, listen, bro. I look at Trump not- face, bro. That nigga wants out. That nigga looks like he's tired of shit, man. I don't, I don't know, bro. The way he did that, that uh that the the postal service shit, that nigga yeah. wants to stay. That's what I'm saying. Like I all you have to do is just stay home. Cause I agree with you, uh Julius Rod. I thought he didn't want to be here. Mm. But he's fucking with the post office. But fucking with the post office might I'm just saying, fuck with the post office or piss even more people off the scene. We gotta get the, he fuck with jobs. What they gonna do with Peter? They already with did the post that. Office too. I'm saying, no, that's what I'm, that's like, what I'm like, saying. You're, like, bro. like you're snatching three hundred, like three hundred thousand jobs. You fucking up pensions and shit. Like that's a lot to fucking get people, bro. Like galvanize, get you the fuck out of office, bro. But the thing about it is, a president on his second term that's already been impeached. Do you know what he is? He's not a president anymore. He's a king. Like that nigga, it can do whatever the fuck he wants. He's officially I don't know, a, bro. A monarchy. Seriously. Yeah. Okay, because I think, him. He's I think on. the 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 balance that I think is going to be struck over the next four years if Trump is reelected, um, based on what I've been seeing from these protests, these young niggas is wild. We are not beneath. Hell. <laughs> what? Hey, edit that out, nigga. Edit that out. Jesus Christ. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I'm, I'm not this advocating is, for anything. Don't I'm, say oh, we. This don't is a say video. we. Don't say they. <laughs> and, and as you can see by my gray hairs, I am not none of these young niggas. I'm an older nigga. So I'm just speaking to what I've seen, right? Okay. Uh, you know, I'm okay. just reporting the news. Yeah. I'm being the conduit for the information. Yeah, walk, walk I, that feel one, like, uh-huh. I feel like I feel like these careful. young Whippersnappers, these young. Hey, <laughs> okay, not me. Now, nigga, what is you doing? <laughs> now. <laughs> so, yeah, so I just. Album. That's. I feel like. I feel like. Um, we have devolved into third world politics, where shit can go left. I, I do. Said, I, I agree with you on the we're devolved into third world yeah. politics shit. I agree with that. It's 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 because we're no longer the leader of the free world. Yeah. It's not us. We're not the guys anymore. I, I think we said this this uh, this much. I do remember. We said this on the last podcast. Germany is the leader of the free world. We're not. You know what I mean? We're 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 barely a fucking democratically elected uh, process country. You know what I'm saying? Because there's so much collusion, there's so much fraud with our elected election practices. You can't even say 
everybody's elected fairly anymore. We don't have any proof of that. You know what I'm saying? So I, this is what just, I think is going to happen, bro. I think Biden's going to win, right? I think Biden's going to win handily, not like a landslide, but like comfortably. Mm-hmm. And I think in February of 2021, because I've been saying this for a while, I think the AOCs and the Nina Turners, they're going to be on that nigga's neck every fucking month about what the fuck he needs to do. And I can't wait for that shit. And I think in 2024, I think this is going to be a big ass jump ball for whoever. You, you know, you know who I see. You know, you know, I was looking at a, uh, the Hill today, man. You know who the Hill got? The Republicans uh, coming out like if if Trump uh, win or who they got that's gonna uh, take the next baton? Fuck a Tucker Carlson. That's that's who they fuck. They gonna roll out, bro. <laughs> Is the clip empty after Trump? Did they empty well, the barrel? Yeah. I do they not have any other Republicans at all? They don't got nobody, bro. They gotta regroup, bro. They, no, I'm telling you, the Trump shit was an anomaly, man. They didn't plan for shit, man. They 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 planned for eight years of Trump. Shit looking spooky right now. They just after this, everybody's just gonna fucking just regroup and try to get the fucking ball out the air. I uh, y'all think they're gonna try push man. They're not gonna shit. try and push Candace Owens on us. This shit is depressing, man. I mean, this is that's the lasting effect of Trump is that. There is no more, um, we expect our leaders to be the best, the brightest, the smartest. It's just let's invest in a name that we know will galvanize people. And regardless of how smart they are, yeah, that's just push, put, let's put that push. Plus. That's why we got Biden. Oh, that's like, the reason why Biden's here. Like Obama is Harvard educated. Yeah. You know, and the fact that the next one up, I don't even know what school Donald went to. You went to the Wharton School of Business. What the fuck was that? I'm <laughs> 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 nigga. Bro, bro, you bro, from, nigga. bro, you from Queens. I thought you knew. <laughs> ain't from my hood. I'm from him. <laughs> 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 well, I don't know. But that's, that's what you went to. Too. Obama was Harvard education. Um, Bush, the dumb Bush, the, the, the child Bush, he was, he was Yale educated, right? So even in all his blunder and stupidity, he still had some form of formal education. And I think we appreciated him a little bit more once he left office and seen his relationship with Obama. But um, Trump is going to leave office and he won't have to watch his back. But AOC... It's the second time you've threatened this man's life. <laughs> you got to leave him alone, bro. He's going to catch him from behind. <laughs> Listen, Julius Rock knows Trump was my man when he was feeding Clemson them Happy Meals. But when this coronavirus shit started, I'm, I'm off the train. You, 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 you backpedal, man. And, and I remember you said uh, Candace Owen, bro. I think if Trump got an office, that all that shit's going to pipe down. Them motherfuckers ain't vote for a black woman. Cause They'll vote for Candace not- Owens because Candace Owens isn't a black woman. In their mind. Ah, that's true. American. Nah, you seen them uh what's the other two joints? Like Silky and Clean or whatever their names was. Yeah, yeah. Silk and Diamond. Yeah. Silk and Diamond. They got rid of them niggas as soon as they could. They fired the shit out the bitches. Yeah. Yeah, Just like they fired Stacey Dash. Remember Stacey Dash was up there tap dancing? Yeah. Did she get did she get fired or did she fire herself? No, she she got got burr. uh, Amarosa. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jason Willow, I thought he had a bag. Nope. He's like, you ain't got to go home. You got to get the fuck out of here, nigga. When, when, if Trump loses, dog, the Republican Party's going to split in half. It's going to be really conservative and them Trump niggas. They're going to want to get away from them. Them niggas is not going to be together, bro. They're going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be cut in half. What? That's kind of, that's kind of what the Dems is right now. It's, yeah, they are. They, but they're just holding this shit together to, to try to get Trump the fuck out. That's all. It's like the bad era of NWO. Remember when they started having like everybody? Yeah. They had NWO Red. They had to be Wolfpack, yeah. and then the yeah. other one. Then they we, had don't, to we don't. We remember the Mexican Latino one. NWO. Some shit. Remember, yeah. remember they had the white shirts with the black. Yes. Yep. <laughs> yes. We just all yeah. chilling out right now until fucking goddamn Trump go, and then it's just gonna be the Hunger Games. Oh my god. Yes, and that's that's what we're heading towards. But I like that idea. I think it should. I think, I think the two major political parties should split up, and there should be four, and there should be the like extreme that. left, the center left, center right, extreme right. 
You know what I mean? And let them all battle it out. You know, let them come to compromises and all that shit. Because this two party thing is just it's fucking the whole game up. Yeah, Bernie because- Sanders. Should- what you saying, bro? No, 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 I was just gonna talk about the difference. How Bernie is basically like a progressive dem, yeah, and, and Biden is like a conservative dem. He yeah. should, he should, Whatever he should be mean. on the ticket. Bernie, yeah. Bernie Sanders should be on the ticket uh, with Biden and Trump, and it should be the three of them. And it should be whoever gets the majority out of the votes wins the presidency, as opposed to whoever gets the the most. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like there should be a number that you have to get. You know, and then get rid of the fucking electoral. College. I hate that shit, yo. Get that, rid of that shit. But you know they changed it to represent the actual popular vote now. They did do that earlier this year, where I heard about that. But I didn't look more into it. Fifty-two percent of the state, you get all the electoral votes. Now, nah, if you win fifty-two percent of the state, you get fifty-two percent of the electoral votes. Excuse me. What? So, that right, make, so, so for example, right, California, I don't, this is just some arbitrary numbers. I don't know. I'm not that political in regards to who, yeah. how many votes a, a state gets. But say, for example, California has 10 electoral college votes. And let's say Trump wins 60% and then whoever, Biden wins 40%. Trump would get six, Biden would get four. So in the past, what it was, if you won yeah, 51%, you would get all 10. All, yeah. Uh, all 10 of the electoral votes. Now it's split where you get the percentage of what? So a nigga got to win 100% of a state to get 100% of the vote. That's a little different, yeah. But like what with the, the counties fuck? and shit, that's crazy. Because yeah, New York, because New York ain't all Democrat. Nigga, niggas don't know that. Like Man, It's just New York City. New York City. <laughs> and Syracuse, maybe. Where, where, where that's it. A, every, everywhere else, that's <laughs> a Republican. It's, well, I li- I live on Long Island. That shit Republican as fuck. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. It's fuck. But the but New York always goes to the left. And that's but to me, that's the problem because there are people, there are certain sectors of this country that fund everything, that fund that fund the majority. Their tax money funds this country. And the people that make the decisions as far as who's president are those people. You know what I'm saying? And presidents control budgets, they control where money goes. So yeah. if you wonder why, why would Trump take care of a big city if the big city isn't going to vote for him? You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, the big city's the one that's putting money in his pocket, that's paying for him to go golfing, yeah, you know? Yeah. This, this electro, electoral college thing is so ass backwards. And I understand people are concerned that, you know, uh, mm. the, the mm. big cities will control everything. But shit, maybe they should, nigga, what the fuck? There's more people there. That's, maybe, what, maybe, that's, what, that's what Cuomo it. said, even though, you know, niggas is turning on Cuomo now, you know? Because yeah, of the whole school. Of school. But there's school. nothing. But what is what is but, he gonna do? But he but he was right. He was like, yo, if you got a problem, give me my money back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're with Mitch McConnell, right? Yeah. Yeah, send our bread back, nigga. Just give yeah, us our money. Most taxes out of everybody. If you yeah. know with yeah. that. Yeah. My shit give back. me goddamn fucking uh uh California. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So we'll see. Uh but seriously, has there ever been the time where you were less excited? About a presidential candidate than you are with uh, Biden and Kamala Harris, bro. I, I'm I, like honestly, I, every day I'm angry at the shit. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because yeah. like, Joe Biden just a fuck up, and all Joe Biden got to do is just shut the fuck up. I I was I was you know still like in high school and in middle school when uh, when like John Kerry and all of them was running. I remember John Kerry. So bro. so I I don't have the memories like you guys. So for me. Call us old and, shit, but okay, all right. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> basically, basically. I, 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 felt I was in middle school. I, I, I was in middle school, so I don't know what the fuck y'all niggas. Doing. <laughs> you know, so you know, we was all in college at the same time, goddamn. <laughs> so when you pose that question of have you ever been more, less excited, I'm like, well, you know, Obama. Back when you didn't have a clue. I had Obama. You know what I mean? That was my first time voting. Yeah. <laughs> This nigga. So Akon. <laughs> Akon. Yo, yo, let, let, me, let me say before we go to Akon. Let me say we go to Akon. Listen, I want this. I, I didn't get a proper chance. Yo, so let me say this about Kamala Harris. I don't give a fuck about her history. All I know is I don't give a fuck that she's a black woman. That all that's sweet, but what the fuck is she gonna do for us? It doesn't that's matter. What, what the problem. fuck are you gonna do for us, Kamala? Like now you here. You just, I, I don't give a fuck if you a black woman, a purple woman. Like, what the fuck are you going to do for us? Because I will, because I will slander Kamala Harris. I will. 
Like, it, it, if she gets in, I'm going to slam the shit at her if, if we don't see no fucking results. I mean, I mean, that's the way it's supposed to be. Like, like being black, like, we root for black people, yes. But being black doesn't mean that you're above, automatically above slander. You know what I'm and, saying? And check this is, we'll, we'll, the, the counter argument to slander and Kamala Harris is, oh, well, when she gets in office, you got to get her in office, then we'll hold her accountable. Go back through history. Who have we voted in the office and then been able to hold accountable? Nobody. Was it Obama? They already did. They already <laughs> <Was> did. <it? laughs> what have we been able to force a politician to do for us once they're in office? Oh. It's like it's like when you see those like uh, memes or jokes making fun of how you act in the interview versus how you act when you get the job. Yeah. Like, yeah, okay, you'll promise us the world where you want to get voted for, but when you do get voted and you're in office, you're there. So they why had, do you have to listen to niggas anymore? They had to kill JFK just to get the civil rights to, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Pop that nigga top. You know what I mean? Oh my God. Like, shit, yo. Like, I, I don't... <sighs> I, hate the, I hate the black celebrities trying to tell regular niggas, like, this is, this is what you need. Like, this is the it. Shut the fuck up. No, Shut the Ava, fuck up. Need, yeah. You pull some Ava DuVernay, you know... Black women have had it so hard in this country. Well, what the fuck is she going to do for black women then? Like, what has she done for black women? You know what I'm saying? More importantly, what are y'all going to get her to do? You know what I mean? That she don't already have in store. Fact is, she's been in office for years. And, and, you know, maybe she has done stuff for black women. Maybe we just don't know. But lead off with that shit. Don't tell me about why we need to vote. Because if you... At this point, if you're undecided, then I just don't. Maybe you might be, you know, a little stupid. You know what I mean? Like the shit is all there. It's just a little the, stupid. You know yep. what I mean? Everything is there. The only thing that that only thing that is left to debate is is there going to be election for, fraud and how much election fraud is it going to be? The amount of election fraud. But other than that, everybody knows who they're voting for. It's done. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You know what Trump has done. You know what Biden has done. These are established names. There's no winning people over. There's no campaigning. You think about it. There's nobody's can't. All they're doing is just showing commercials. Niggas ain't made Literally. no promises at all. Yeah. Joe yeah. Biden's campaign strategy just needs to be shut the fuck up. Shut the, just shut the fuck just up. Shut the fuck up. Just shut up. <laughs> just shut up. Joe Biden can say, if you vote for me, I will shut up. You, I'm sold. <laughs> you got to put the fuck in there. Shut the shut, fuck up. I will shut, shut the, the fuck, fuck up. up. I am <laughs> sold. That's it. Literally. I don't need no more emails, campaign fundraising. I don't need that. Mm-hmm. Joseph R. Biden showing up in my inbox. You good, G? My, <laughs> Joseph R. Biden. Might might name yes. this episode. Just shut the fuck up, man. Just shut That's the fuck true. up, Joe. Just, just shut the fuck up. That's shut it. Your ass up, nigga. Shut up. Well, I will say this: Mike Pence is gonna get killed, bro. Oh yeah. She, she Did you see that, that shit when I'm talking about America's meat? Yo, yes, they was like, yo, she wants to beat our meat. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, no, she said, he said, he said, uh, I will not, we will not let Joe Biden and Kamala Harris cut America's meat. And niggas in the crowd is like, wait, well, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go. Niggas said, I got some red meat for you. And everybody's just looking at him. You know, so. like, what? <laughs> she's she's what? gonna, she's gonna body that nigga, but she just gotta be sensitive because she doesn't want to come off like she's bullying. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But she's going to buy that nigga. Nah, fuck that. that. We need to bully. I mean, that's what, uh, yeah, that's cut what his fucking head off, about Trump. Joe Biden bullied the shit out of, uh, what's the, what's the yeah. name? Matt, uh, yeah. I mean, Ryan, whatever his name is. I don't know. That guy. Paul no, Ryan. Paul Ryan. Paul Ryan. And, and um, um, the ditzy board from uh, Oh, Sarah Palin. Yeah, he, yeah, did, he Palin. bullied the hell out of them yeah. in, the, in those debates. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, Kamala Harris got to cut Mike Pitt's head off. And make but an example like ain't that. Ain't that how she ain't that how she got the nomination from Biden, folks? Is she killed that nigga in the primary? She was going, she called sure him all did. types of dirty names. Yeah. But she, she got did. killed in the primary herself. Yeah, but she but yeah. She, she got shot the herself. Hey, yo, who's Joe the who's the one bullet chick? holes from her? Oh, uh, Tulsi Gabbard. Yo, Tulsi she, Gabbard. She came in there sniping. <laughs> she came in there sniping and took it all away. <laughs> And now, and you haven't heard from shit from us since. No, nope. which which just proves I think that she really she was a Russian. Russia about, yeah, yeah, she was. Yeah. yeah, they was like, nah, you gotta come in. Here you go. <laughs> come in, Chelsea, Tulsi. All right, Akon. Akon wants you.